I think, in essence, I am a teacher. Printmaking is, a, I guess, a vehicle to teach. I feel like it's a privilege that somebody has afforded me their time for me to share those skills. As a carer for a man with PTSD, life gets challenging. And to have my printmaking practice, to have my art to disappear into, gives me time to breathe. It's invaluable to me. And I want to share that with other people. I want to share that with other carers who have a desire to be creative, but maybe they just don't know how. They might be scared of it because somebody told them when they were a child they couldn't draw, or they just may never have done it before. But printmaking lends itself beautifully because it's through the process that you realise the end result. As a kid, I always loved to draw. I'd love to create things. I love to colour things. I was introduced to printmaking in high school and just fell in love with the idea of printing something. You may draw a picture onto a piece of lino and then with the carving tools you carve away elements of that picture. What you don't carve away is the picture that prints. In my own practice the carving is what I love more than anything. That's where I disappear the most. I enjoy the feeling of the carving tools through the lino. I just enjoy the, the, the process and the slowed down time to do the carving. You don't know if it's going to be any good until you lift the paper off. And one of my most favourite things in the workshops is when students are printing whatever process we're talking about and then they reveal the print themselves. They lift off the paper and you can hear the oohs and the ahs of excitement that they've created something. After moving to Mullaney and spending a couple of years doing my artworks, I was asked by a few different people on a few different occasions to demonstrate what I do or to teach them skills in a really informal environment. And I loved it. I, it kind of reminded me of how much I wanted to teach when I was younger. Something that was important to me that I wanted students to feel is a sense of, um, of ease when they came to the workshop. I wanted them to feel comfortable when they were here. I wanted them to feel a sense of generosity. I, I, I'm so passionate about sharing the skills and the more people who can connect to printmaking as an art form, if that gives them a creative outlet, the better the world would be. We all need some sort of creative outlet. Students are saying to me they felt a generosity of the space. They felt safe to create. They felt calm when they came here. They felt they could just come and have a day to themselves and be creative and let everything sit by the wayside. I can remember when I didn't have the time, the headspace to be creative. I felt sick, I, like my body wasn't well. My husband is a war veteran with PTSD and Sometimes that world gets a little bit crazy and upside down and my printmaking practice just gives me my own personal respite from that. I disappear into my own space and my own world and I really started to appreciate the value that my printmaking practice was giving to me and I want to share that with other people. If I can help other people find respite, whether it be people who are carers, who come from some sort of anxiety space or mental health space or whatever it is that they want respite from, if they want to be able to create something, if that's what works for them, I want to help people to do that. I want to give them the tools and the skills to be able to do that easily themselves at home. My name is Kim Herringe and I'm a printmaker living in the Sunshine Coast hinterland in Mullaney.